just not pretending you're wearing the full suit of armour, you're doing full combat and you're doing it competitively. Basically what we do at Night Star, we, we teach people how to sword fight. Um, we try and stay as true to the historical manuscript as possible while also uh, allowing people to kind of explore it themselves. Found out about the sport in 2016, uh, looked it up and found that there was the World Championships happening in Prague um, in about a month's time in May. So I went over to Prague with a few mates to see this World Championships. It turns out it was amazing uh, and met the English team, uh, they completely sold me on the sport. Everyone from all around the world who did the sport was really, really friendly and, and welcoming, so it's awesome. So we're based in this amazing church, St. Lawrence's uh, Church in Norwich, uh, on St. Leonard's Street. Uh, it's a 500 year old church and uh, it's not been used since the 70s. Um, so medieval combat is obviously a great, great way of I guess celebrating the space and the history of the history of the site. My aim is to have this club as accessible as possible. So essentially if, if people want to learn how to sword fight, we want to be the place that allows them to do that. Uh, I ordered it online from a gentleman called Andre Golubsky. Uh, he's over in Ukraine and uh, it's a bit harder now with the war that's there but most of the armour that I have certainly is from Ukraine. So individually just brigandine, just uh, chest. Then I've got brigandine bicep plates, steel shoulders, stainless steel uh, elbows and forearm. I've got neck plate, so I've got the thighs and knees. They're just all hardened steel. And that's my armour and my helmet's over there. The sport itself is really trying to um, develop an identity for itself because if you say, right, I'm going to go and do some medieval combat, people will either think of LARP or they'll think of reenactment, um, whereas Buha is, is on the far end of the spectrum. The reason why I feel it's so important to get more people into the sport is otherwise what's going to happen is you have people who are passionate about it, they do the sport, but they will retire at some point or they'll get an injury and it will stop them from fighting. The sport will phase out because no one will be doing it. It's already a very niche community that take part. So we're trying to expand it and have it become more mainstream so that people understand what we do and they understand the benefits of it as well.